Delco Dan's Dirty Golf Picks. Ah, when you hear that jingle, it makes you tingle. Welcome to Delco Dan's Dirty Golf Picks, brought to you by MyBookie.com. Promo code Drinking Bros doubles that first deposit all the way up to $1,000. Why do we do it? Why do we put ourselves to this? We hate ourselves. Is that what it is? We're masochists. That's what I feel like. Most likely. I mean, it's, it's making my Sundays, which are usually reserved for the Lord. I can't even hit top 20s right now. Uh, angry. It's bad. Angry. Uh, it's, it's real bad. I, what were the odds of this fucking guy winning last week? Bobby Mack? Yeah. I got to say at least over 60 to 1. Has to be, I right? mean, he's been playing fine, but yeah, no. He, his first PGA Tour win, he's kind of like a manipulator on the DP World Tour. He's on the Ryder Cup team, but no, I don't. I think he was close to triple digits. So for the second time in the last three weeks, one of the guys that I picked dropped out the morning of the tournament. Yep. Yeah, but so that'll happen. That'll happen. F- for me. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not stoked about it. I went with two Canadians. It was the, uh, the RBC. Yep. I did mention uh, Mackenzie Hughes, who was in the mix. Because uh, you were going to pick, I thought you were going to pick all Canadians. So I'm like, why don't you no, pick Mackenzie Hughes? I picked Corey Connors. Corey Connors did well. He was he top five. He actually finished top Canadian because Hughes played like shit on Sunday. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I was there. I just wasn't close uh, because Homeboy was up. When I turned it off, he was up by like five strokes. Went into Sunday up four. He did. Okay. Yeah. So what, what was the, the end result there? I mm-hmm. popped it on right before... Uh, shit, I think I forget what me and my wife were watching, but um, I popped in on right before and I saw him hugging his dad, yep, who was his caddy. Yep. And then they, they went into this emotional speech afterwards. What was the story there? How did he lose his caddy? He just had his dad on the bag. Well, some but somebody dropped out, and uh, he had I don't the, think so. The dad think... had to fly in on Saturday, so the dad was the caddy for like Maybe. Saturday and Sunday. I, I'll be honest, I checked out. Uh, I do know Fluffy though, CT Pan's caddy mm-hmm. went down. Yeah, he's like 76 years is old. Is he dead? He could be, because he is old. Okay. He goes down. So they got a fan. Really? Yeah, some some hefty fella. I like that. To carry the bag. And then... Uh, That's a fun story. That guy couldn't make it, so they replaced him with another fan. So he, Shut the fuck up. He had up. two fans. Well, the first fan was a little obese fella. Okay. Why would you pick that guy? I well, don't know. I, like, Go with somebody who's kind of fit, you know, and just kind of figure it out at that mm-hmm, point. Mm-hmm. So he uh, he finished with a fan as his caddy. That's great. Nice That's little great. story for that guy. Yeah, man. Look, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. We got to combine the fucking tours here at this point. It's getting weird out it's there. It's not that. It's just you know every tournament that wasn't an, like days. an elevated event has been a forty plus to one winner, something like that. But we have an elevated event this week. We do. So it's going to be a different story. And uh, and we need more of these, or all of these need to be elevated events. Because let's face it, you're only playing golf for four fucking days a week, you know? Play, just go play all the shit. Uh, if you don't want to play up in Canada, I understand that, right? You want to get on the Mexico Open, cool. There's some names there. You had Rory, of course. He didn't fucking he made, show up. He made a run on Sunday. He always does. He always makes a run on Sunday, and then he'll, he'll shit. He wins Canadian Opens, though. That's his thing. But he didn't win this year. Not this year. Uh, neither Bell did Nelly Corda. <laughs> Nellie Corda shortened it when the uh, U.S. Open. She didn't make the cut because Oof. she made a big old number on 12. 10 on a par 3. Which it is... happens when you put three balls in the water. Jesus Christ, man. He put, she put every ball in the green and it just rolled back. She's won what? Six out of the last seven heading so into Six that? out of the last eight now. Yeah. God damn. She didn't make the cut. She did not. Um, we lost a lot of money last week. We had a 22-year-old Japanese girl win her second U.S. Open. So really? That's, that's cool, I guess. Ah, uh, it's not. It's not great for the LPGA. No. I was looking up in that down that leaderboard. It's all Japanese. Flags. I bet, well, I also put money on Minji Lee, uh, who is Minwoo Lee's sister, right? Oh, so Australian no girl, yeah. also Asian. Yeah. Uh, pretty cool. Equally as cool as her brother. However, what wasn't cool, she was. She had like a four or five stroke lead on going into like six or seven, and she, I believe, shot seven over from then. Great. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. That was cool. Lost a lot of money this week. I'm not going to gamble on women's golf anymore. No, it was probably our first and last time doing that forever. Uh, I'm going to throw a lot on that Mavs game on Thursday night. Unless something sure. like COVID happens again. Yeah. And the only thing to bet on is women's golf. Well, I mean, my bookie's got the casino. That rocks now. That's who, yeah. So I, I would, you guys are doing well on that. I'd, I'd do that over women's golf. I do well for the first 20 minutes and then I blow it. Yeah. 
That's kind of been the mantra this whole <laughs> fucking year. <laughs> this week, though, uh, our luck is gonna it's gonna change. I, I have a feeling it's a, it's the memorial. This is my tournament. This is Jack's memorial, tournament. Memorial tournament in Ohio. In Dublin, Ohio. I've been to this tournament many, many times. Is this also where they gather the uh, juggalos? From time to time. Mm-hmm. I got thrown out of this golf course once. Makes um, sense. Yeah. I uh, almost got arrested. Almost got arrested. Uh, Ali, the movie had just come out with Will Smith. And uh, it was Ali Boumaye, and Ernie Els was playing that year. And I was screaming out Ernie Boumaye with all my friends. And uh, Ernie physically walked over and just said hey we're not doing that here did jack physically remove you uh-uh no he's he's always been old as shit i've never known a young jack so no he's old and tiny he is um he the was old and bear he was a fiji at ohio state mm-hmm. and i remember him walking into the fraternity brother fraternity brother and they didn't know who he was and i gave him the grip and the, he knew they oh you're a fiji yeah okay so he walks in at Ohio State, and, uh, and he's like, hey, you know, what's going on? This place is dirty. You guys need to clean up or whatever. And they go, why don't you shut the fuck up, old man? Nobody knew it was Jack Nicholas. And Most majors of all time. Donating money to the fraternity. Mm-hmm. He was like, I'm out of here. Fuck you and fuck this house. Arguably the greatest golfer. What do you think? No. I still, I mean, Tiger. I know, Sam. It's just, Sam. Sam. It's just a weird, f- the injuries, man. I mean, he would have shattered that record. Mm-hmm. Especially in today's field. If you look at what's going on in today's golf, Jesus Christ, man. He, he never would. takes a nine iron to the windshield. I think he, he breaks that record. I agree. Weird, right? And if he never gets into trying to be a Navy SEAL for some reason. I think that had more to do with it than the nine iron His to the windshield. His body broke but, down, yeah. yeah. And then, um, I mean, if he doesn't get in that car accident, maybe. Because, I mean, 2019, nobody expected that. Still pulled off the Masters. Tough to say. After that car accident and having one leg, it's it's over. It's over. Yeah, yeah. he's never coming back again yeah. to win anything, uh, which is sad to say uh, because he he has won the Memorial, uh, and I've I've seen him play at the Memorial. It's fun. It's a fun tournament. If you're out there uh, bubbling at Dublin's out there, <laughs> getting fucked up, dude. Go to Urban Meyer's Pine House. Uh, Hard AF Seltzers are there. You can get rocked. Someone was chirping me the other day though. So uh, Mia culpa, I guess. Portion of the show. Sure. That Bryson DeChambeau wears his hat, or the he used to wear the old kind of like newsy hat because of Bobby Jones, and we said Payne Stewart. Sorry, I guess. No, you should say you're sorry. I'm Bobby sorry. Jones is a fucking hero, dude. Bobby Jones is cool because uh, he's one of the best ball strikers of all time, but he just couldn't putt. Right. Yeah, I respect that. And he said putting is not really a part of the game, which I agree with. Shia LaB- Did Shia LaBeouf play Bobby Jones in the movie? You know, it's hard to say. It no way to look movie. it up. Yeah, no way to look it up. Nobody's no. here. It's just us. It's just us. Uh, who do you got this week at the Memorial? So I'm going with some big dogs, uh, but with some good value. Okay. We're going with a man who wins at giant tournaments, but not majors. All right. Guy by the name of Max Homa. Love Max Homa. I want Max Homa to win. I can't bet on Max Homa anymore, though. Max He's... Homa is 35 to 1 this week. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah. 100 bucks. Another guy that plays well, that Jack's plays all the time, very up and down, roller coaster ride, three time major winner. Yeah. Jordan Spieth. Nope. No. Nope. Jordan He's Spieth. looked like shit this year. Uh, you know what? This is it. This is the tournament. 46 to 1. Why okay. not? Why not? We're close to 50 to 1 odds on Jordan Spieth. I'll take that. 100 bucks there. And then, you know, guy that's kind of been chugging along all year, playing well. Has a great record here in Dublin. Okay. Siwoo Kim. No. 48 to 1. No. 100 bucks to win $4,800. <laughs> and I got a top 10 on my, my man Ben On at plus 360. Ah. And then top 20s, the odds aren't as juicy because, again, this is a limited field, about 69, 70 guys. Max Homa for a top 20 plus 110. Siwoo Kim, top 20 plus 131. Denny McCarthy finished second last year to uh, Victor Hovland. Also finished fifth the year before. Let's cash him in for a top 20 plus 158. Then we're going Chris Kirk plus 260. Then rounding it out with Adam Shank at plus 300. And that is the card right there. All right. Uh, I like it. 
I'm going to take one one favorite this week uh, just because this guy's been playing well. It's 14-1 to 1 right now. Um, on my bookie.com. Colin. Yes, Colin, Colin. Morikawa. Um, he has it. looked really fucking good the last few weeks. Had a couple top fives. Can't finish, though. I know. Uh, but this is one of those events where, I mean, you used to compare him to potentially Tiger. Tiger used to win this fucking thing all the time. He didn't win the Memorial, but he won the tournament bef- the week before at the Memorial, I believe. It was like the the, the work day. Yeah, yeah. At... It was during the COVID year, so they played back-to-back tournaments mm-hmm. at the same venue. Yep. Um, but, yeah, he's won here before. He's won here before. I'm going to go with Colin Morikawa. Uh, I'm going back to the well with another pick from a, a few weeks ago here. Uh, Matthew Fitzpatrick at 48-1. to 1. I just I can't cheer for these dudes. I can't either, man. Like but Bobby, Bobby Mack, fucking Fitz, I Fitzy. I get it, dude. I, I, just, I know. They're hard to look at. I know. They're just I, ugly, ugly people. I, I get You know my stance on uggos, dude. I don't want them on television. I don't want them anywhere near me. Like, he wears a retainer. Yeah. Sure does. Or maybe it's braces. But he, he he's getting te- his teeth fixed in his almost 30s. Yeah, well, he's, he's British. Yeah. You know, that's, that's a that. lifelong battle right there. I get there. that. <laughs> it's a lifelong battle against your teeth. And uh, looking at this list, man, I just, going all the way down it, you almost have to, because, look, Scheffler's at fucking three and a half to one. And he'll probably be top five. Probably he'll be win. in the mix. He might win. He's never won after April, though. So that's one thing I'm holding on to. All right. Same here. I'm not looking. I'm <laughs> obviously, like he doesn't win tournaments after April. I'm obviously not taking him. But there is something to be said about this 40 to 1 thing that's been going on this year, where you start looking at guys over 40 to 1, where you're like, all right, can they fucking pull this off? And can you're getting they do value. It? I mean, you're, I, you're, getting, you're getting a lot of value if Jordan you're able to beat the 46 to 1. If you're able to pick them. You know, that's the thing. Siwoo Kim, 48 to 1. I, that's why my last pick today is Willie Z, man. Uh, Willie Zalatoris at 62 to 1. You can have him. I know. I, I just, Look, I know. I, I know. don't know how that back's going to hold up. I don't either. And that's the weird thing. It, it Looking at golf, this is an elevated event, and I'm looking at the top guys here. Scotty Scheffler. Yeah. Xander Shoffley again. Yeah, Xander probably will win. Rory. Maybe Xander's on, like, maybe... Winning the U.S. Open unlocks something. He goes on a heater. I don't know. We'll see. I don't have a lot of confidence in it. Rory, so th- I mean, Rory's always in the top three most favorited people, and he doesn't win, man. He so, does win. I, he does actually. He won the he Wells won that, Fargo. He won the Wells Fargo. You're right. Uh, and he won that team event, I guess. So yeah, back to back weeks. Yeah, uh, and then after that, it's Victor Hovland, uh, Morikawa, Ludwig is still getting. I don't want. To, like, I would have picked Hovland, but I don't want Hovland to win this week because I want Hovland to win the U.S. Open. Which is next week. Next week. Okay. Yeah. So I hope Hovland, you know, top fives this, top tens this, goes into the U.S. Open with a little momentum and then just like runs away with it. But the odds won't be great on Hovland next week. Yeah, I already They're not have, great here. I know, but I already have a ticket on him to win the U.S. Open. That was back when he was uh, a little bit better of odds. When okay. He was playing poorly. Gotcha. So, yeah, we're we're gonna double down on Hovland next week. Okay. All right. Uh, one more time with your picks here. We're going Max Homa, Jordan Spieth, Siwoo Kim all to win. Ben on for top 10, and then top 20s on Max Homa, Siwoo Kim, Denny McCarthy, Chris Kirk, and Adam Shank. I'm going with Colin Morikawa. Uh, I'm also rocking with Matthew Fitzpatrick, and then the famous Willie Z all the way down there. I, I'm with you. I don't know if his back can hold up. Maybe it does, though, for one tournament. And if you want a juicier pick, I guess 75 to 1, you got Denny McCarthy to win. I, he doesn't win. He doesn't win is the problem. He doesn't, he doesn't I've bet him a few times in the past. Um, I look at a guy down here uh, like Brian Harmon at 75 to 1, and I think, eh, is that a just, terrible pick? Do you want to like no, just I don't hate your entire from, Sunday? I, dude, I'm, I'm with you. But I'm down to so few guys that I root for. Like uh, take fucking Sunday, for example. Uh, Joel Damon was, was in the mix for a little bit, and that was fun. I was hoping he would pull it, pull it off. Nah, that was, that was very, third. very obvious how that was going to go. Wait, but but he finished third. Did he? Because I no, he didn't. It's a fun story. Yeah, he definitely yeah. didn't finish third. He, was, he did. No, going into Sunday, he might have been third, but he he had a bad Sunday. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, the last time I saw, he was like two over. Let me I, on the day. We'll stay on air here. I got to pull this up and find out. I right. think he finished third. Um, I did RBC check Canadian out, Open. Though. I did check out though on that one. He definitely didn't though, because Rory finished third. Let's see. 
And I mean, Ben Griffin, who's like seeing spots in his eyes, finished second. Yeah, what the fuck was He's up getting, with like, him, dude? LASIK surgery or some Is shit. Is that what it was? Okay. Uh, oh, huh? Ten. He finished tenth. Yeah, that's a big difference. Third to tenth, not really. Shouts to Matt Wallace really. though for uh, he was nine under, and he was very firmly in the top twenty. I was finally going to cash a top twenty bet. Proceeds to go four over in the last like five holes. Perfect. Yeah. Love that. Perfect, yeah. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, you're welcome. You're I hope welcome. you don't make the U.S. Open qualifier. I didn't check, <laughs> but I hope you missed it. <laughs> There's a lot of hatred for golf this year, man. I'm, I've, I've been an angry man this year in golf. There's a bunch of Sundays where I've checked the fuck out, too. Like, even this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, Homeboy was up by, like, four or five strokes, so I was like, well, fuck this. Um, but, yeah, man, it's a rough one. Uh, everybody's coming back together next week, though, right? It's the it's a fucking major for the US Open, yeah. God, dude. And Thank then God. everybody that qualified. All right. Yeah, a lot of guys didn't. Uh, anybody big? Uh, off the top of my head, Adam Scott missed it. Oh shit! So Did Adam he really? Scott. He uh he lost in a playoff to his his own countryman, Cam Davis. No way. Yeah. Wow. Fuck. Okay. So Cam Davis gets the spot. Adam Scott's like an alternate if somebody falls out. If somebody dies or something. Yeah. Gets yeah. hit by a should happen. Like everybody's be getting hit by shuttle buses at these golf tournaments. Sergio's not in it. He missed it, but that was back in May. Uh, He's checked out. He didn't give a fuck anymore. I think Joaquin might have missed one. I don't know. Really? Yeah. All right. All right. I'm looking forward to that. I was kind of. I was quickly before the show. I didn't get to go through all the qualifiers, but I was looking and I was just seeing like if I didn't recognize anybody that missed. And uh, Adam Scott was one of the big ones. All right. Well, bet with us or against us on mybookie.com. Just make sure and use that promo code Drinking Bros to double that first deposit all the way up to a thousand dollars. We'll do better. All right, Thursday, take the Mavs. I mean, take the Mavericks. Yeah, on just night. take them for the series. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, maybe wait because the Celtics might win. They might win Game One. I've got the points, so I didn't money line. Yeah. I, I didn't money line the first game. I've got six and a half. But Celtics to win or Game One. Mavs to win the series after the fact. You get a better prize. Yep. And then Luka to win MVP. Yes. I think those are those are all smart bets. Um, these, not real shit. And then Panthers are going to fucking boat race the Oilers. I'm sorry. They're just better. <sighs> I think the, the whole world is, is rallying around that girl's titties from, I, from I the know Oilers. So. The vibes are all with the Oilers, but you just can't get around good like bad goaltending. I know. Florida's uh, looked the best uh, in the entire uh, playoffs. So What's yeah, my guy Bob's in the net for the Panthers. Let's go. Yeah. Former Philadelphia Flyer, great. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, it's your time. He was also a Columbus Blue Jacket. Was he really? Yeah. Good for him. Good for him. It's his time to fly. It's his time to fly. Appreciate you tuning in, kids. Go to iTunes, rate the show five star, and leave a quick review. Also, head on over to Spotify. It's just a five star, and you can walk away. For Delco Dan, I'm Ross Patterson. These are Delco Dan's Dirty Golf Picks. We'll see you on the links. Go Cats.